This is my new cat. He's deaf. Anyway, what we're talking about today is your toilet valve, your uh, fill valve for your toilet. And uh, this is the uh, Fluid Master. This is the Fluid Master 400A. Uh, this is a very good valve. Uh, I highly recommend this. This will last you for a long time. And you can even get replacement gaskets and stuff. Little. Uh, this is actually the valve right here. This rubber piece. But anyway, uh, so what happens is, it, over time, this will um, this will fill up with crud in here, especially if you have iron pipes in your house. But even if you don't, a lot of times it will just like hard water, you know, uh, will get in there, and uh, pretty soon, eventually. All the uh, all the water starts coming out here and going straight into the bowl instead of filling your uh, water closet. So uh, this actually attaches here, and that goes into the pipe that goes down into the toilet bowl to wash rinse out the toilet bowl. But uh, you're going to remove that and. Uh, now to clean this thing, in the instructions what they say to do is you push down on this part and then you twist it counterclockwise and that comes off. Alright, but uh, at least that's what they used to say in the instructions. Maybe they don't even say it anymore, but uh, yeah, and the float would be on there as well. This is the float here. This this even comes apart. You just squeeze it there and it comes apart. A lot of times it'll fill up with water and it'll quit floating on you or it'll fill up with mold or something. This thing was all moldy actually. I already cleaned this off. but uh, So it, it just looks better for the video. But uh, anyway, so uh, this part here comes off and they tell you to uh, now this is sitting down in the toilet like this when you do it and uh, they tell you to put a cup upside down over the top of this I gotta make a tripod for this thing I'm using my iPad so I only have one hand I haven't made it yet but uh, gonna make a tripod mount but anyway uh, just imagine I had a cup upside down over the top of this and then you turn the water back on for a second to clear out any particles in there and uh, and that so uh, actually I forgot to mention you want to turn off the water before you start doing this otherwise you'll do what I did and the water will spray all over you but anyway that's uh, my bad so uh, and when all you have it off you want to pop out this little uh, rubber piece here that actually comes out. I'm not gonna. Well, I could take it out for you. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Yeah, okay. You want to pull that out and take a uh, stiff bristled uh, plastic brush and go over that real good. Get all the lime scale and crud off of there. Clean that up real good. You don't have to use soap or detergents or CLR or anything. I, I don't. I just use a nice stiff bristled plastic brush because I'm afraid it might uh, harm the material. This, this this rubber material here is all that is, and this actually I think it's impregnated with a little piece of metal inside there. But on the outside, it's rubber, and. Uh, so I don't use a chemical or anything. I just scrub it real good with that stiff brush. And then you want some of this. And uh, this is just uh, silicone grease. And uh, you don't want to use... Not, no, don't use caulk. Because huh, that will get in there and ruin your day. But uh, 
take that and just put a little bit on the outside of uh, this and then you put it back in there I can't do it with one hand but you get the idea alright now what they don't tell you in the manual is uh, how to pull this out and clean this now this will plug up and that was actually what was really wrong with mine and that and when this plugs up it just sprays out into the uh, bowl and it doesn't hardly fill your tank at all it just fills very slowly but anyway this will be stuck in the toilet like that and to get this out what you got got to do is you take this little ring here and you pull up on that and uh, that releases these little fingers here and then you kinda like what you wanna do you, you pull this piece off here in the float you might wanna pull the float off well actually you can't to get this out but uh, this piece will be on here you wanna take that off or it might be easier to take this this will be it should be attached to your your uh, pipe that goes into the bowl you want to pull that off or pull that off there and uh, get that out of there and then you just slow or well I don't know uh, carefully anyway so you don't break anything just take that and start twisting it and pulling up and eventually it'll come out and you'll be greeted with this and uh, and you'll wonder how, you, how the heck you can get that apart now on this one I, I don't have it uh, I already have it apart but uh, because I, I didn't want to pop that back in there and try pulling it out again because I don't know how many more times I can pull that out of there uh, before it breaks but because of how you got it. so when this is when this is in when you first pull this out that little white piece in there should actually be sticking out a little bit and uh, on, on some of the newer ones I don't know it might actually be up inside of here I'm not sure but uh, so you might have to put something in here uh, in order to get this piece out but uh, what I did on mine since mine was sticking out past the bottom of there I just took it and uh, I, I banged it down on the counter here and uh, that pushes that tube up and that tube is attached it goes all the way up here to this and uh, and then this piece here comes up comes slides down like that and then there's a little rubber piece here and uh, this this here is what will catch all of the crud out of your pipes and uh, I don't know what this rubber piece is maybe it's to reduce the velocity of the pieces so they don't break this thing all the pieces more pieces in there but uh, this was all plugged up. These little holes here were all full of junk. All I had to do was just take my uh, stiff bristled plastic brush, this is it right here, and uh, scrub on that with water. And then the uh, little pieces all came out. And then same, do the same with this rubber piece as you did with your, uh, with the other one, the one that came out of here and uh, scrub it good with your brush and then put a little bit of the silicone grease on that and then just put that back together and uh, you might want to pop these little o-rings off here these just they're in a groove in a ring groove but they just kind of pop right out you can see that there and uh, clean and grease those as well and then Put it back together you just slide that back in there and I can't do this very well with one hand but I really need a tripod mount for this and then you just push that back in 
there that way and uh, might be kind of hard to push back in there but and then you put it all back together and then your toilet will run like new these are very good this is a once again that's a fluid master 400a very good valve It'll last just about forever so and it only costs a little bit more than the cheap junk ones you can clean those out too actually but uh, I don't have one of those so I'm not going over that but yep and I'll put this all back together and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it runs real nice okay I'm going to hit the thingy down here see what we got how many leaks we got oh look at that See, there was nothing coming out of there before. It's all coming out of here like crazy. Yeah, it looks like it's filling a lot faster now. Yep. There it goes. That's how it's supposed to work. Looks like we got a little leak right here, but it's not too bad. You want most of the water in this anyway, not in there. Remove it. There did that go. See, this is my day here. This is what happens to me every day. Anyway, what is it? Uh, uh, eight. Uh, forget now. Ah! Peace out.